I'm sorry. <laughs>、oh, hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? It's Papa, and today I'm going to be showing you guys another updated first place. Uh, pure sprite list that I just took to a new locals down in my area, and I actually ended up getting first place with it. So, very, very nice.、Uh, we always take those dubs.、Uh, the deck hasn't really changed too much since I last profiled it, but、uh, I haven't really been playing too much. I've just been kind of getting stuff put together. I mean, the holidays are over now, so I should have more free time to start playing cards again, and I just conveniently had the night off. So, I went to a new place. I、uh, tried it out, saw the scenery, got to meet up with some of the Meta Bros.、Uh, you've seen them on the channel, and if you haven't already,、uh, go ahead and check out Super Meta Bros. But、uh, yeah, I got to play at a new place, took one of my favorite decks that I like to play, ended up winning, and、uh, I also pulled a Lobelion for my、uh, prize pack, so that was tight. But yeah,、uh, Sprite is still something that I'm just really comfortable with in the current format, and it's still able to win. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. First off, of course, we are playing three copies of Sprite Blue. Nothing has changed here. You still have to play three blue.、Uh, three copies of Jet. I shouldn't have to explain this one too much. Still have to play three Jet, of course, because you do have to search Smashers and、uh, Starter when you need it. So we don't play Double Cross. I think Double Cross is ass.、Uh, always going to feel that way. I don't. Think that card is good at all? Like, I really don't. I I, I just don't like it. I'm sorry.、Uh, we also play red and carrot and pixies.、Uh, you have to play one of each of these. Pixies is definitely mandatory because you do run into those problems where you have to just、uh, beat over some kind of buff dude, or just even when you do the elf bringing back the blue. Uh, being able to grab Pixie so that way your Elf doesn't die and you have it for the next turn. Very very nice. But、uh, that's it for the sprites. We just play the nine sprites. Don't really have to play any more. Don't need to play any less. Probably just going to do this deck、uh, profile、uh, uncut because there's not really too much to go over. The list is very very standard and it only has like probably a few cards difference from what I played last time. But three Beaver,、uh, two Angler, and then oops. Two swap. I get why people play three swap, but personally, I'm just not a fan of it. There is cards that you could cut to play the third swap if you want to, but I'll get into that when we get there. But I still felt like the seven like waters was really good. I didn't really need more or less.、Uh, three copies for pistols. I'm sorry.、Uh, three magnas. I'm just gonna put them up here because it kind of blends in with the rest of the hand traps.、Uh, two copies of Drew's form, of course.、Uh, one copy of Serenir, and then I was on three Ash. Uh, three bell and three impermanence. So, I mainly like this lineup because I felt that I didn't want to play more bistols. I think the nine bistols is a little aggressive, and you still need to be able to play the game. And there was definitely times where I was kind of feeling like I wasn't going to be able to, but I had prosperity, and prosperity was able to dig me out of that hole, which I'll get to definitely later. But I feel like the seven bistols is fine. You could play a. Th Third Druidsworm, if you really want to, and play the Serenir. But there's definitely cards that you can cut in the deck that you may not like. But I really did like the six. I think it was really good. You didn't really need to be super aggressive with the pistols. I played against、uh, Hero. I played against Tier, and then I played against two Sprite matchups. One of them being Runic. But、uh, the the seven pistols was fine. I never clogged with any of them, so they were very good to just have at the six. And、uh, three bell was very good as well, being able to stop other bistols from coming out.、Uh, didn't happen, of course, because it was just four round locals and it never happened. But I do like three bell a lot.、Uh, you can set it out. Don't get me wrong. I definitely set it out for another card that you see in the side deck when I get to it. But、uh, Ashen and Perma is definitely mandatory because it is locals, so you definitely have to like get ready for like any like rogue matchups that you might play against. But I felt like this hand drop lineup was very fine. I mean, if you're looking at it, it's like six nine.、Uh, And then like another six, so like fifteen hand traps basically.、Uh, you don't really need to like play any more. I think this was really really well.、Uh, it it gets a little more aggressive after it, but fifteen、uh, hand traps, and then spells went a little、uh, more heavy than the last list.、Uh, three starter, of course, you have to play three starter.、Uh, two prosperity. I'm still not playing Iperia. I feel like Iperia is really good, but I cherish the digging more than I cherish that one draw, and it,、uh, prosperity definitely comes up a lot. And I don't like playing it at three because then you brick with drawing multiple copies. I think two is the magic number for prosperity in this deck. But I've never needed more. And if anything, I side this out going second, and I just play、uh, talents instead. But it really is just depending on your preference.、Uh, one called by, and、uh, of course the one smashers. But I had two flex spots in the deck. I was playing mourner originally in the side deck. Or not the side deck in the main deck, and I took out the mourners, and I ended up playing duster and change a heart in the main deck. And you know what? 
these were fine. Uh, Duster I never really saw. I think I saw it once, but it was not relevant at the time I did draw it. Uh, I didn't really need it. But the Change of Heart was actually good against Tear, uh, being able to just have them play during my turn, and then I drew, hard drew the Change of Heart game one, and then I was able to bring their Collidal Heart to my field and then just link it off and be able to steal the game from there. But uh, that's it for the spells. Nothing really too crazy. I think the spells are honestly probably some of the weakest cards in the deck. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but... Uh, so far, like, these cards are really good. I don't really feel like you need more. I think I only resolved Called by once today, or maybe I didn't and I just used the Magna to get rid of the DPE. But, uh, that's it for the main deck. It's literally just 40 cards, nothing too crazy here. It's literally just a really self-explained uh, deck. It's very, very standard. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, we just played, uh, two Gigantic, of course. Uh, Oni Bimaru, I actually made this a lot more than I have basically since I've had this card in the extra deck. Uh, this card's really good. I used it to get rid of a Druid Swarm and then get rid of a Rhino Heart. And then it basically this card just puts in so much work very, very well. Uh, Toad, of course, you have to play the Toad. And then I play a Zeus still. I think I made Zeus once and then I like cleared a board and then it didn't matter. But I think the only, like I 2 would every one of my opponents today except for Tier Element. And then we actually drew against here today. So I ended 301, but uh, I also had another friend that finished 301, and then I just had better tiebreakers, so I was able to just steal the win from there. And like Zeus is like fine, it's really here just as like a safety outlet for against Rogue, but I know I summoned it once and it was kind of mid, not gonna lie. And then for the Lynx, uh, Sprint, I finally got the Europrint Sprint to match my other. Europrint sprites, so that's very nice. Uh, two copies of Elf. I find myself wanting more of this. I feel like I want to play more of this, but I don't. I think two is actually the magic number, but I do really like three. Uh, one Mascarena, very, very needed. Uh, Codebreaker Virus Swordsman. This card is, like, fine, I guess. It's really in here just to defeat the Guska when you play against, like, the Naturia deck or when you just play against Tier. Uh, it's basically only out is just for the Guska. But we also played Dark Charmer, uh, played Phoenix, and Unicorn still. I still feel like these cards are mandatory with Sprite. Uh, Access Code and Avermax to round off the extra deck. Nothing too major. Again, very standard. I think the only thing that I would cut is probably the... Not that one. Uh, the Code Breaker. I don't know what I would play in place with it. Maybe the Downard would go back in. But um, I never really made the Code Breaker. I think I just used it as material to link up into Access Code. But... I don't know. It's fine. I get why people play it, but I probably wouldn't play it going forward. It was kind of mediocre. And then finishing off real quick, we'll just show the side deck. I played one Resonator because it's a tuner. And then we play three copy of Droll and Lockbird. This card is insane. Uh, this against Hero was really good. This against the Runic deck was also very nice. Uh, this is really good in the Sprite Mirror as well. Uh, the only thing that it's really not good against is Tier Element. But it's good against Flunder, it's good against uh, Math Mag, it's good against like all these like Rogue decks, Exo Sister. Uh, Droll just puts in a lot of work, and I really like this card a lot. It's basically one of the main reasons you win your games 2 and game 3, because if you resolve Droll, odds are your opponent just ends their turn, depending on what they're playing. But this against the hero matchup was really crucial, and then it was also really good against uh, the Sprite Mirrors that I played. And then I played 3 Dark Hole. I cited this card in... But I didn't see it, so I can't really tell you if this card was good at 3 or not, uh, just based off of what I played. And then, other than that, we played 3 Talents. I do think 3 Talents is aggressive. I only saw Talents once during the whole uh, Locals, but uh, I was able to put me in a really good winning situation, so I just said why not. But 3 Talents basically just comes in when you're siding out the Bells, or when you're siding out like anything that's basically dead, uh, of course, but... Uh, basically when you take off the Prosperity is going second, you just throw in the Talents. But it never really came up too much for me because I just didn't see it. And then Two Storm, I saw this once and it got rid of a, um, a Sprite board, I think. It was a Sprite board or a Runic board, I forgot which one it was. But, uh, still good. I mean, I feel like I would prefer Cyclone, but I don't know. These were just, like, two extra spots. I was debating on the Dogwood or I was debating on... Playing like Valor just as some extra negation, but I ended up on two storms and it was decent. And then of course three evenly matched. I still feel like if you're not 
playing evenly latched in the side deck, you're probably going to have a bad time. Uh, three Droll and three Evenly just feels really good in the side deck right now, as well as the three Talons. Other than that, everything else is just preference. But that's really it for the deck profile, guys. I know it's not really like too informative, but I did already bring you this deck update already but uh back to back local wins is very very nice so we take those and other than that that's really it for the deck uh i really wanted to take the naturia list to my locals but i didn't have enough testing with it to feel comfortable playing it and that's basically why i opted just to go back to spray because it's basically just all reliable at this point but nothing else really to say too much there uh, i do really want to keep going back to getting videos out for you guys i know i've been a little uh not frequent with that but i've just been really busy with the holidays and i do apologize again but we're almost at 1400 subscribers and that's a number that i didn't know that we were capable of reaching but i'm very thankful for every one of you and i really hope you guys enjoyed your holidays and everything but yeah guys that's really going to do it for the deck profile i hope you enjoyed and until next time this has been papa and i will catch you all in my next video take care everyone